Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a cartoon lion. We're going to get started in the middle of our page with the eyes. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to draw a circle. We're going to start from the very top, work our way to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a space in the middle and draw the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the top and draw that same circle going around to the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now on the left side of each circle, I want to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. Starting on the outer edge, I'm just going to draw a small circle tucked up against the side. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now in the middle of the larger circle, I want to draw a small circle for the pupil. So we're going to tuck this in behind the circle here. So starting at the bottom, go around, and then pull that in towards the side. I want to fill this all in black. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the bottom of the highlight, I'm just going to go around and then back in. And we'll fill all this in black. Now I want to go back in and draw on the outside of the eyelid. So I'm going to start on the inside of the left eye. It's almost like drawing an oval going around to the top and then just pulling it in towards the bottom. So we'll start on the inside. We're going to go up over the eye. I'm just going to pull this alongside the side of the eye and then just tuck it in towards the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Starting the inside of the eye, curving up and around, and then we'll just pull this in towards the bottom of the eye. At the top, we're just going to add some eyebrows. So on the left side, I just want to draw a little curve going across and do the same thing on the right. In between the eyes, I want to locate the nose. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right, going down in the middle and then up. We want to round out the ends and then come down to a center point. Starting on the left, we're going to curve around and then just come straight down toward the middle. We're going to work our way back up along the right side. Now just above the nose here, we just want to draw a little curve for the wrinkle of the nose. Let's move down and add in the mouth. So in the bottom of the nose, I'm just going to curve down and then up on the left side. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving down and then up on the right. At the end of the mouth, I want to draw a little bracket, a little curve, just to close off the end of the mouth. Now let's open up the mouth and draw on the bottom lip. So starting at the left side, we're going to curve down and then pull that back up on the right. We're going to give them a little tongue, so on the left side, we're going to curve up in the middle and then down. Let's add in the muzzle around the mouth. So on the side of the nose, on the left side, we're going to curve around the mouth and then pull it down just below the lower lip. We're going to continue and go up towards the right side. Going around the mouth and then in beside the right side of the nose. Now we're going to draw on the side of the head, so we're going to go up towards the top in the middle here and draw on a point. From this point, I want to go around the eyebrow and the eye and then pull this in beside the muzzle on the side. So we curve this back in towards the bottom edge of the muzzle. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top, go around the eye, and then we'll just pull that in on the left side. Now on the top area here, we're going to add in some ears. So we're going to take this curve and just duplicate it just around the side. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now from these two points, we want to connect it with a half circle. I'm just going to go out and then just pull that back in. We're going to draw the same thing on the inside. So stepping in, we'll just trace the inside of the ear. Do the same thing on the right. Now from this point in the middle of the head, we're just going to go straight up with a line that goes to right about there. Now we're going to draw in the large mane. So starting from the top, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. We'll go back to the middle, curve up and out towards the right. We're going to hook these back in just to add a little bit of hair, curving in the short line. Now I'm going to curve this in behind the ear, so going out and then down. We're going to continue this curve on the bottom side of the ear and we're going to hook it down. So continue at the bottom of the left ear, we'll curve down to about there. On the right we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to hook this back up again, just like we did at the top. The 
short curve. Now from here, we just wanna pull it in towards the bottom of the chin and we're gonna pull it down towards the center point. Starting on the left, we'll go around the side of the head and then as we get towards the middle, we're just gonna pull it down. Do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, we're gonna go around the bottom of the head in towards the middle and then we'll just pull it down in the center. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the front paws first. So on the side, I just wanna curve out and then down. Starting on the left, I'm just gonna round it out, do that on both sides to the same height. Now from here, I wanna draw a curve that goes up and then down. We're gonna leave a little space in the center. Going up and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Up and then down. We're gonna connect those two points with a little curve. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're just gonna add some lines for the paws. On the left side, I'm gonna curve in and down. We're gonna move over, draw a second curve. Do the same thing on the right. Now at the top of the paw, I just wanna curve up and down. We're gonna leave a little space at the top here. So we'll curve up to right about there same thing on the right. Now in between the paws we're going to step up and draw a straight line from the bottom of the belly and then up here in between the arms I'm going to draw a little curve. We're going to have this line sitting down so you can see the bottoms of the back feet on the side. So on the left here I'm going to go up, we're drawing an oval, coming down to the bottom and then back up. Right up here we're just going to add some paw lines curve coming down, we'll step over and draw another curve. Now in the inside here, I just want to draw a curve going in behind the front arm. We'll do the same thing on the right, starting on the inside, draw that oval going out, down to the bottom, and then back up. Up here, I'm just going to draw a little curve, draw twice, and then right in here, we're going to add the top of the leg. Now the final step, let's add that tail on the side here. So we start on the side of the arm, curving up, out, and then up. We've done that twice, so we step down, just thicken up the tail, going up. Now from this end, I'm just gonna draw a curve going out, and we're just gonna pull that over. Now from here, I'm gonna draw a little wave that goes over this line, and then up. So curving in, around, as we get to the bottom here, I want to overlap this and then hook it up. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our cartoon line. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.